And Michelle, right here. Showing your left side. And Miss Williams. Great to have Michelle. And Michelle. Guys, smiles together. Michelle, together. Right here, sir. Paul, right next to her, right here. Paul, right here. Paul, on the right. 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 And Mr. Rogan, sir. Oh, okay. Mr. Rogan, right here. Seth, right here. And Mr. Rogan. Uh, uh, guys, right. 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 All right. Gabriel, Gabriel, eyes right here. That's fine. Gabriel, one Gabriel, back to the right here, Julia. Julia, right here, Julia, looking back. Julia, Julia, right here, looking at me, looking at me. Julia, Julia, chin down a bit. Yeah. And straight ahead, Keely. Right here, Miss Carson, right here. Keely, right here, Daddy. Keely, straight ahead, Michelle. Excuse me, ma'am. Gustavo, right here, Gustavo. You're in the picture. I know. Miss Butters, looking back. Birdie. And Birdie, right here. Birdie. Birdie, right here. And Judd, looking this way. And just together, together. Judd! And something else. Sam, Paul to the right. Sam, right here, Sam. Sam, left side, Sam. This guy. Give us a big smile. Paul, to your right, left side. Big smile, left side. Right here. Right here. Chloe, right here. Taylor, one more time, one more time, right here. Wasn't that the Together. Together, together. Oh, right here. Mr. Spielberg. Steven. To your left. To your left. Steven on the right. Steven on the left. Steven to the left. Steven. 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 Steven.
uh, uh, you know, try to try to do do right by these characters. Stephen is letting you into how he sees the world, which is through the language of film. It is a beautiful thing to see with an audience as well because of its spirit and it's funny and it's inspiring. Um, yeah, you gotta see it in a theater. I think I'm always vulnerable <laughs> in terms of the movies I've made, uh, but this is a very personal story. It's the first time I've taken uh, privacy public and I've never done that. I'm, you don't see me doing that a lot in my life. And this was a story that I thought had some merit about my mom and my dad and my sisters and formative years growing up in three states. And uh, Tony Kushner kind of prodded me years ago into starting to really take these stories I was telling him a little more seriously. So we started working together about three years ago. And, uh, and now we're going to introduce people to the, a family called the Fablemans. Families are complicated. And I don't know any family that is not complicated. And our complications are probably not as unusual as, as someone else's. So I think this is not a vanity production for me. I'm not holding up a little vanity hand mirror to my face. This is a big universal reflection, I think, of everybody everywhere with siblings, with parents with problems at school, with uh, a passion, a hobby, something that becomes a career. So I think there's a lot of sort of universal truths in the story we're telling. Well, fortunately, the films that we recreated to look like the films I used to make when I was 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 are better than the films I made when I was 12, 13, 14, 15. When you get Janusz Kaminski and me together, even when we're trying to make something look amateurish, we had a really hard time doing that. So I, I promise you, my old movies are a lot worse than the little movies that we recreated for the Fablemans. Every movie should be seen on a big screen. Every movie. The movies are made for movie theaters. Now I'm fine about about you know films that are streamed and streaming platforms and the most important thing is storytelling. And I really at this point don't care how I see good stories. If I see them on my iPhone, not a great way to see something, but I just love good stories. But because of the traditions that I was raised believing in, I seriously believe that movies are best seen in the company of strangers in large theaters on a, with a giant screen. And I al will always feel that way. I can't believe we're here. I can't believe we're celebrating this man, his life. Um, I feel like we're here for like, it's like a, an ode to filmmaking. They're just gonna see how he came to have a passion for film and how filming things changed his life in a real profound way. It's just a movie for the ages. It's like a film about a filmmaker who's been making movies for 50 years. It's about complicated, interesting, messy, and great families. I asked him um, uh, if he remembered, um, uh, or if he had an idea of how, what made him uh, start directing movies. Um, and. He said it was a complicated story. It's like the first day of filming on Munich tw almost 20 years ago. And, uh, and he told me the story that turned out to be the central incident in the movie, in The Fablemans. And um, uh, after he told me the story, I said, you have to make this into a movie someday. And he said, well, maybe someday we'll do it together. And we laughed and we thought that was the end of it, but it turned out not to be. We never wanted it to be something that would only uh, matter if you cared about Steven Spielberg. Uh, we kept saying, would this scene, would this moment work in a film about any teenage boy and his parents who are going through a very difficult time in their marriage? And, and, and we asked that about the movie moment by moment and about the movie as a whole. And when we were done with the script, we were pretty clear this feels like something that could speak to um, everybody about uh, the dynamics of a family and I think especially it's powerful about a marriage between two people who really love each other but run into a lot of trouble. You know, I think he's one of the signal artists of our era. Um, everybody thinks that and, and I, I feel like it's uh, been a 20 year long 
dream to to work with him. It's a it's a privilege and it's an honor and it's a real joy. I mean, he's a great guy, and I love spending time with him. So it's also become a real friendship, and that means everything. It's very flattering, and to not be some sort of, you know, I, like an alien or something like that, <laughs> to be a real Cuban, my face is actually, you know, I, I didn't show up, and yeah, my face wasn't swapped out with someone else's or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's very flattering. What is it like to be? It's crazy, and it's a really big premiere. And I, it, it's nice that these things are happening uh, again. Um, yeah, it, it, it's 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 really a surreal thing for me and everyone involved. I think, and even the actors like Michelle and Paul, who've worked with so many directors that are so much better than the ones I have worked with, even they are blown away by this experience. <laughs> It is about movies, uh, fundamentally, and um, it is by nature cinematic. It's a humongous movie, even though it really focuses on nuanced, small relationships in a lot of ways, it, it has a humongous scope to it. So yeah, it's, it's fun to see in the theater. Saving Private Ryan was one that I really loved, and that I came out, uh, you know, I was in high school, so that was like when I was really starting to like, absorb movies, I think with like an adult's perspective and I remember seeing that in the theater and it was very like really blew my mind you know um, yeah. it's wonderful it's it's everybody there is just an expert at what they do their masters and, and Steven does like, such an incredible job at leading the set and setting the tone for everybody and Christy and Tony it's so amazing having them all the time and Paul and Michelle and Seth they're all so supportive and uh, they were just it, it's incredible it's Steven Spielberg making a movie about his life. It's incredibly um, personal. It's masterfully crafted in every aspect, every department of filmmaking. And um, it's really good. Any story that's so specific and, and well articulated to any experience, everybody, everybody can relate to it.